playing that thing for you is here. Live from Flash Dancers. 40 inch bundles for all the fantasy. Yes, give me some hair to the floor. Nothing like Russian platinum blonde hair. So I'm going to be using some good old fashioned clear press on gel. And then we're going to put it on the inside of Miss 5XL coffin. And then get that little scoop. Make sure we put that scoop at the apex. And then a little bit on the nail. Getting this flashy ready. Uh huh. What's Kylie Minogue? So if you have a bubble, that means you need more gel. Really? I thought it was touch me all night long. There we go. See, no bubbles now. Beautiful. Hold it down. Freeze her in place for a few seconds. Do you want to start rounding them up so that way they can start tidying up? Okay. Round them up. Because a clean factory is a happy factory. Good old fashioned press on gel. Ain't that the truth? I feel like I wasn't showing her some love. What movie was that where I think it was like Tupac was like, You ain't got no love for the West Coast? Was it the Biggie movie? Which I have to admit, I actually like Straight Out of Compton better than I do the Notorious B.I.G. movie. Isn't it? I, I feel like it's a better movie, huh? So here we have a little bit of 5XL Confident Fantasy. You know, just really short, really. Just gonna do some gardening. Gonna go to the Tamale Festival kind of length. Oof. With, with these nails, you guys literally you become somebody else. And I like what I'm becoming. Now let's bake her for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. I got my Maxi Magic Film Glue ready. I got my black painting gel ready. I need my little tiara palette. She's ready right here. She's ready to go. Don't forget, you guys, get those limited edition Christmas glitter acrylic mixes. They're everything. No meal here, honey. Nice and smooth like butter. And then maybe some diamonds. We'll see because these all are going to be quite flashy. And then we're going to need a nice liner brush. I think I'm going to use something a little bit longer today because I want my lines really thin. So I think I'm going to be using... Either the pink, like pink liner for the vegan four pack. Or... And then I'm gonna give it some like Adina Howard square realness. I want the, the dip, you know that dip? When I dip, you dip, we dip. Well, you know what, let's, let's play some, some naive rap music. that 90s Adina Howard Foxy Brown Trina Square where it goes in a little bit
So to do that, you angle the file in towards the nail like this, and it'll make a dip so it's more square looking. See, look at that. Whoop, there it is. The Xerox one, yes. Usually I do this prior to applying the nails though because they are so long so that way it doesn't snap. Some Jose Gavino music, Ignacio. Really? Tag team. And again, you guys, I apologize if I can't get to every single comment. Give me one second, though. straight and we don't got no wonkiness here beautiful let's go with our buffer remove the shine yeah the maximum square is actually shorter than this slightly it's the same size as a 5xl square well i have a christmas sale we're gonna have to wait and see for that one or well, nails by orlando aguilar is here one of the ogs here at enocouture.com she was watching the nutcracker but she was like next we gotta watch Eno couture we are on fire tonight. Let's remove the shine. Oh, actually, no, I need to blend in the cuticle first. That's what I want to do. So I'm soaking my bits in acetone. And then we're going to take them out right here, dry them out. Boy, I like this song. So the, max, the difference between maximum square and 5XL is that 5XL has a very deep C-curve and high arch, and maximum is very Instagram-esque, very flat, very boxy. So I have to give the girls the options for the fantasy. And right now we're using the power top fit to blend in that cuticle. Do you know that when Marky Mark, Mark Warburg would sing this song, he would like take off his shirt and just like sing it in his underwear? I think it's like full of dust. Do you want to get that kind of air and, and... It jammed earlier today too. Let's the shine off the top surface of the nail. Are you guys excited to see the fluorescent foils for the design today? This design is actually really pretty, but super effective. It's very stained glass-esque, but very, very bright. Ooh, you gotta get some Christmas stickers, Miss Tally. The spectacular holiday stickers are beautiful. I'm actually going to be using them on my mom really soon. Beautiful. 
And then to blend in the cuticle a little bit more, get it really Photoshop for this weekend. We're gonna be using the diamond prep bit just to go around really gently. I'm gonna use it at 14 on my mini 20 mil drill. Get rid of any crusty molesties. So I'm gonna cut out the pieces of foil I'm gonna use prior to me applying them to the nail because I don't want them sticking to the design. Hi, from Florida, and we're gonna be using Miss, this is Miss Popsicle or Snow Cone. Snow Cone, this is Miss Snow Cone. We're gonna take our own scissors. Oh, look at this pink. She is calling the name. Fake at 30 seconds instead of Miss Barbie Darling Lamp. Let's see what the girls are saying. Hello, Max. Hi, my love. Next, my regular, who is a hairstylist, sometimes complains that once your go nails break. Is that because they use water all the time, or do you recommend adding more product under the nail tips? Um, oops, which size is she getting, and how much are you reshaping? If I don't really have that, uh, I don't really see that much uh, people complaining about breaking, but if she does break them or she's really hard on them, I would probably go with a coat of press on gel on the inside just to make the nail feel more uh, hard because remember they are flexible. And there goes my trash can. So a coat of press on gel on the inside and then seal it with like shiny or wonder gel. So that way you don't make the nail thick or bulky on top as well too. That should help. So if you get a patching or trying to do a full coverage, what I would recommend is do a swatch test. Sometimes some foils work better with 30 seconds, others sometimes they work best with 30 seconds. And then make sure when you're putting the foil on, you want to put it on starting at the center and then rub it really, really hard with like a silicone tool like these, especially this little flat one. Rub, rub, rub really, really, really hard so that way you get a really even transfer.
See, look at that. That foil sticks like crazy. fluorescent fantasy okay so now comes the detailing and a little secret see uncle max never hides secrets you gotta tell the girls everything all that tea so that way their phalanges come out the best so we're gonna clean up our brush I'm gonna cut some hairs out of the brush actually. Why? So that way I have a thinner, longer brush, so that way the design comes out more, the lines come out thinner, okay? Have a little bit of black painting gel. Bye. A little bit of black painting gel right here. And because black painting gel has a very thick, high viscosity, because it has so much pigment in it, I'm actually going to add a little bit of black gel polish to thin it out. And create a medium viscosity gel.
to give the design some dimension, okay? It almost looks like a butterfly when you put it in. What do you guys think? Is it giving you the butterfly fantasy? Let's do this one. Look at that pigmentation and look how smooth that line is to you guys. Like a poisonous mushroom. What are talking to? Um, she didn't listen to me. She's ready for the nightclub.
January, the 5XL tip boxes come out in January. God willing. I'm going to freeze these for two seconds because I don't want to keep them. Because I did have some Cinnabon coffee prior. Barbie Lamp, look at that fluorescent fantasy for the girl. Mm -hmm. Really? And would you dance to it?